What's up guys, Technology Bra here, and today I'm going to be upgrading my CPU cooler. So this video is not really going to be special, it's basically just a vlog of the process of me changing my heatsink. I'm going to have to be taking off the motherboard, the video card, the heatsink of course, to replace it with uh, what I have here, which is the thermal take. Uh, Water Extreme 2.0, I think it's what it's called. If not, I'll put the right name in a fade-in text of this video. But, uh, yeah, so basically it's just going to be a blog. You're going to be seeing me replacing uh, the heatsink and all that. And I'm not really going to necessarily show you guys me disassembling the motherboard or taking it out of the case and all that because um, I've realized I would never do the job right because I'd be too focused on the video making sure that's actually good. So it's just going to be a vlog. You guys... Um, I hope you guys will enjoy this. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I think of these kind of videos is cool, just seeing people, you know, working on their gaming rig or computer or whatever it might be. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also going to have a separate video of an unboxing of the Thermaltic water cooler I got. So uh, I'll, po I'll post a little annotation with a link to that video. And, yeah. So I decided to fire up Intel Burn Test to stress out the CPU to its max level and to get the max temps, which I think was 78 degrees. And right now... Yep, it's 78 degrees at max, and so basically I'm just doing that right now. It's not for it's not for a stability test or anything like that. Like I said, it's just to get the maximum temperatures so that I can compare the Mega Halons with the Total Take Water Extreme 2.0. And yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. After this, I'm gonna be disassembling my computer. So I just finished recording the unboxing of the Water 2.0 Extreme, and now I'm just gonna clean everything up, the things I don't need, and then start disassembling. I'm gonna need this so I can see how it sounds. All right, so right now I was in the process of taking off the fans from the Mega Halums. I might use these ones instead of the Thermal Take ones because if I remember, I bought these ones because they have better pressure and airflow. But I'm not so sure, especially because they're dusty right now. Right now, and I don't have a dust can or anything to take out the dust, so I'm not so I'm not so sure yet. I might just install the Thermal Take fans first and then test it out with those and then once these um, fans down here are cleaned switch it out see if there's any difference and yeah and especially because these ones are three pin meaning I don't have any control over them they're gonna be at max speeds all the time all the thermal take ones I could switch it from quiet normal and then loud and whatnot so yeah so here's the mega halums I'm gonna be taking this off when I take out the motherboard because there's no way in hell that I'm gonna take off those screws and the other one that screw in the other one and then let it fall and then you know like I don't know I just don't want to risk it but yeah I'm also going to be cleaning out the dust too because once I have the motherboard out the graphics cards going to be out basically everything's going to be out except for the power supply and the hard drives that are over here down in the corner I might do a little bit more better of cable management as well especially because right here is where my cold cathode power box is at and it fell off the <laughs> the cheap tape I put on because I didn't have zip types or the little um clamps to clamp it down so I don't know I may adjust things in here I'm gonna take off these two spans because this is where I'm gonna put the radiator and yes yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing right now so I just took out the motherboard from the case it's right over here along with the RAM and the Mega Halums themselves which I'm gonna remove right now the graphics card is in this box right here because I had no other place to put it because I didn't want to put it on my table because it's dusty and dirty so, progression. Now, I gotta take out these two fans and then plan out on how I'm gonna set up the radiator. Finally, after hours and hours of stressing and um, looking for guides and trying to figure out how to fit the radiator into my Antic 1200 case, I finally found the guide that helped me and now I have it attached to the front and that's the only place I can put it in because it wouldn't fit here and of course it's not going to fit up there so oh man it's it's nighttime it took me a couple hours just to figure this whole thing out and I'm just glad that I finally have the radiator in there the hard work is almost done. Now I just have to put the motherboard back in with the back plate and somehow put 
the water block and pump onto the motherboard and hopefully it still works hopefully there are temperature differences if not I'm gonna be so pissed because I took so much time in this and god it's just I felt like it wasn't even worth it now I know what my next thing is gonna be my next upgrade a new case because this case apparently isn't made for water cooling which I found out today so now it's time to take out the old heatsink the old mega halons and clean out my processor, get it ready for some brand new thermal paste, which I have right here, IC Diamond. And let's go ahead and start this. All right, let's see how it looks like. really really stick in it. There we go. And there we have it. So now I'm just going to clean off the processor and the Mega Halum so I can put it back into its box. So I went ahead and skipped all the way to where my computer is finally booted up. I had the water cooler installed. I cleaned out the fans, the graphics card, everything I could with an air blower and everything is good to go once again I took the whole day just working on this and making sure the radiator fit somewhere and yeah so now I'm going to be doing the benchmarks for the CPU only to check the temperatures and so let's go ahead and do the performance test benchmark for the CPU and I'll get back to you guys once that's done Alright, so the testing is done, but before that, I want you guys to listen to how quiet my computer is. Dead silence. I like to call this silent mode on my computer where all my fans are on low, I can't hear the pump, and the only thing I can barely hear is the side panel fan. Which, yeah, I did add a side panel fan just for the heck of it, I guess, and also to help out take out the heat that's generated from my graphics card. Anyways, enough of that, let's get on to the benchmark temperature results. So the max temperature I got was 56 degrees Celsius, the minimum temperature I got was 38 degrees Celsius, and that was when I turned on the computer and let it alone for about mm, 2 minutes or so. And now, let's move on to the Intel burn test. Alright, so I'm running Intel burn test, and this is the test that I'm kind of worried about because this test will officially tell me if I did make a mistake applying the thermal paste or anything like that because for some reason and I don't know if it's just me but every time I replace a heat sink or I reapply thermal paste or whatnot I always feel like I made a mistake somewhere in that area so hopefully I didn't hopefully the temperatures stayed low and right now I can hear my side panel fan going a little faster which I don't know why so I gotta fix that but other than that, I'm a little bit worried because the temperatures are going a bit high to where it's the same as the air cooler. But then again, like I said, this is on silent mode. So maybe if I turn up the fans all the way to where I used to always have them, all of them on high and whatnot, maybe the temperatures will be lower. I don't know. I'll get back to you guys with the results. All right, I'm back with the results. And unfortunately, I had to stop the test because... The temperature I got, the maximum temperature was 81 degrees Celsius and the max it can handle before the CPU starts going crazy and throttling and all that is 80 degrees Celsius. However, like I said two times already, this is on silent mode and it took a while for the temperatures to go up. So nonetheless, even if I run my computer on silent mode doing, doing normal things like browsing the internet, watching HD videos and all that, the temperatures won't go that high. And the most intensive program I have here, um, a game, is Battlefield 3. And even with that, the temperatures don't go that high. So, with that said, I feel like I could still run my computer on silent mode. Now, what I'm going to do is turn up all the fans and basically make my computer as loud as it was before when I had my air cooler. And then I'll retest in a couple minutes, just going to let this cool down to its idle temperature. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Alright, as you can hear, I have all my fans on high. And I just started the Intel burn test, and hopefully it is cooler, and it doesn't go all the way up to 81 degrees Celsius like it did on silent mode. Alright, I'm back with the temperature results, 
maximum temperature I got was 75 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature I got was 35 degrees Celsius. So the minimum temperature actually went lower when I started turning up all my fans too high. So that's a pretty good thing. Um, three degrees lower than my air cooler I used to have. So that's that's all right, I guess. I mean, maybe like I said, it is. I did mess up on the thermal face, so I may, um, if I want to and it's really bothering me, I may just um, reapply the thermal paste. But other than that, everything seems fine. And I usually keep my computer this loud, honestly. I mean, there's a lot of people who don't like it this loud, but for me, I'm used to it. And yeah, so a few degrees cooler than my Mega Halons, not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. So that is it, guys. I finally replaced my Mega Halons with Thermaltake's Water 2.0 Extreme Water Cooler. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.